Hey, Dawn here with a helpful hint. One of my favorite ways to listen to podcasts is by speeding them up. It gives me the opportunity to listen to more of them and to re-listen to my favorite ones. So if you find that this podcast goes a little bit slow for your taste, by all means, turn up the speed. I listen in Overcast personally because I like the control it gives me over the speed of the podcast. All right, on to the goodies. Hello, beautiful humans, and welcome to the Mental Wellness Wake-Up Show, a weekly podcast where growth-minded, creative people come to learn best practices from both spirituality and psychology that create lasting well-being. I am your host, mental wellness expert, improvised acting teacher, therapist, and coach, Dawn McMillan. Let's get to it. I'm so glad you are here. And the first thing I want to do is I want to thank you for your patience and tolerance. I know the sound quality of this podcast varies a lot. I don't have a bona fide studio, so I sometimes have to get very creative in order to find both peace and quiet. (laughs) And I rarely ever actually succeed, but I do uh, do my best to not have too much overwhelming background noise and um, that can be a challenge. So thank you for bearing with me with that. The other thing I want to thank you for is for the feedback and the comments that I get. I love hearing from you so much. So please continue to reach out to me. I am at the Dawn McMillan on the socials. (laughs) Some of my friends have teased me about being the Dawn McMillan, but hey, there are more of us than just one. Can you believe it? It's insane that in a planet of seven and a half billion people, some of them would have the same name. There was this woman many, many years ago who did something called the Grace Lee Project. Her name was Grace Lee, and she went out and tried to meet a bunch of other Grace Lees. I think there's um, conventions of of people who have the same name. Like I think there's a convention for people whose names are Stephen with a PH, and it's all very much silliness. But all of that to say... Thank you for listening. Thank you for coming back. Thank you for reaching out to me. And uh, to speak about being reached out to, I did get some questions and comments about the burnout episode, uh, the stress episode. So what I want to do is I want to share with you some more practical techniques about how to deal with stress. There's a great book by the Nagoski sisters called Burnout, The Secret to Unlocking the Stress Code. It's really good. They assembled a decent... uh, array of research and put it together in a bite-sized, easily accessible format. So I'm going to lean on their framing because they put it together in a way that makes it easier for me to just dip in and share with you. But for your own edification, you can go out and get the book yourself. But for now, I really want to talk about dun, 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 completing the stress cycle. So when we have more stimuli, more things coming in and accosting our nervous system than we can process at the time, it gets stored in our, in our bodies, it gets stored in our muscle tissue, it gets stored in our nervous response. So it's kind of like, if you want to think about the alcohol analogy, right? I believe your liver can process one ounce of alcohol per hour. So if you limit the amount of alcohol that you are consuming to one ounce of alcohol per hour, you're not going to get drunk. But when you consume more than that, you're going to start to feel tipsy. You're going to start to be inebriated or impaired. It's kind of the same thing with stress. If stress is coming at us in little bite-sized tiny morsels, our nervous system can handle it, our coping skills can handle it, and we are fine. Modern life doesn't work that way. We are pretty much inundated with stress from the time we wake up to the time we go to bed. So completing the stress cycle becomes important. It also becomes helpful in regards to completing the stress cycle of the traumas that we had in the past and had no way to complete at the time. We're not going to go into specifics about what that might look like. You know your trauma, and if you don't run, don't walk, to go into therapy and figure out ways that you can unlock those and heal them. And, but for now, let's talk about completing the stress cycle. And one of the best ways to do it, tip number one, is to shake, (laughs) to literally shake. I've talked about this before, and I'm just going to keep revisiting this because repetition is the mother of learning, and there's really only so many tools in our toolbox as 
biological organisms. So put on some dance music and just literally shake it out. Animals in the wild do that. You see a gazelle that gets narrowly escapes a lion, so the gazelle's run the gazelle's like, ooh, lion, lion chases the gazelle. The gazelle plays dead in order to escape the clutches of a lion. Eventually the lion goes away, the gazelle literally shakes out all of those stress hormones that were produced in having their fight, flight, or freeze system activated. They complete the cycle. If the gazelle had outrun the lion, instead that stress cycle would have been completed by the running. If the gazelle had fought off the lion, much of that stress cycle would have been completed through the fighting. So the stress hormones flood your body for fight or flight. And if circumstances mean that your other option is to freeze, it just gets stuck in your body. And even if you do fight or flight, you still often have more stress stored than you, you expelled through whatever it was that you chose to do. So we're all walking around with accumulated stress and literally shaking is one of the best ways to deal with it. I was at a conference and it was just so fantastic because the speaker had put, just put on a set of drums and it was just like just this drum beat. And then you just get the drum in your body and just said, just shake, like literally just bounce and shake, shake your arms, shake your hands and just bounce Like, you know how little kids, that little kid dance where they bend their knees and just bop their butts up and down? Um, That's it. Just literally shake your body for two to five minutes will do wonders. For extra credit, you want to have a full-on dance party. Put on your favorite music and just bounce around your living room and you will get a sense of when you're complete. There's a feeling. You'll be able to name it when it happens. But you come home from the end of the day and you have all the stress you've accumulated from that day and you have all the stress you've accumulated for your whole life because you didn't know about this technique. And what can you do? You can dance. You can literally shake it out, 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 out. So let's revisit shaking it out. That's number one. And then let's also just talk about, again, about exercise. One of the reasons why exercise is so good for you is this. Yes, it's cardiovascular. Yes, it helps to, you know, get your immune system flowing, which is so important. So your muscles contracting is how the fluid of your immune system, your lymph fluid gets moved through your body. Opening and closing closing your joints, contracting and relaxing your muscles. That's the pump through which lymph gets distributed through your body so that your glands can expel it and do all of their processing. So, yes, exercise is good for you because it gets your heart rate up, it increases your cardiovascular capabilities, it is the pump, your muscles are the pump for your your immune system, but and also it helps you complete the stress cycle. There's a whole lot of, a lot of therapies based on this. It helps you complete the stress cycle. So... If you don't want to exercise, can you rethink that? And it doesn't have to be pumping, pumping, pumping. You don't have to pumping anything. It doesn't have to be exercise, right? It doesn't have to be some sort of competitive sport where you're trying to impress people. It doesn't have to be about weight loss. It doesn't have to be about bulking up. It doesn't have to be about anything. It has to be your choice. And one of the motivations for it really is to get the stress that you have been accumulating out of your body. So walk, run, shake, dance, box, lift, tap, dance. Uh, That's still kind of dancing. Uh, Row, swim, move your body. Just do it. Do your half an hour a day, 10 minutes at a time if you want. Put a timer on your phone. I use a stand-up app. And if once an hour you got up and you shook it out for two minutes, you would do wonders to discharge the stress that you just accumulated. So completing the stress cycle is important because you're going to get more. If you don't complete the stress cycle, you're going to have more added on to that pile, 
we've all heard, at least in American English, there's a phrase about the straw, straw that broke the camel's back. It's what happens when, um, you know, you give someone a 7-Up instead of a Sprite and they just chop your head off. Yeah, that's someone, that was the straw that broke the camel's back because the, all of the daily stresses have been piling on. Moving your body removes the straw off your back. Takes the monkey off your back, the straw off the camel, fill in your analogy. So if you're not moving your body on a daily basis, please reconsider. So for people who have certain mobility concerns, <laughs> there is an option for you. You don't have to be the one moving your body. Someone else can shake you. Someone else can move you around. You can even use like a vibrating device to stimulate muscle contractions, like a TENS unit, like people use for shin splints. It's this little muscle thing. Chiropractors use it. I think some massage therapists use it. So it sends these little electric shock in your muscles and it causes them to twitch. You can use that. You don't have to move your body under your own power. It's preferred, but not necessary. So if you have certain muscular or joint issues that make it hard for you to flop yourself around, you can get a TENS unit and get your muscles to contract with that. You can use a vibrating machine to vibrate your body in some way. And I know what you're thinking, stop it. Or you can also get some massage that moves your body around. There's a modality that I was trained in and I really love, and I don't know why I don't do, called sensory repatterning. And it really is a sense where your massage therapist or practitioner will like lift your joints and just oscillate them. And you oscillate the body. So you have someone else who's just gently oscillating you. And that's another way to get this stress cycle completed. And I'm sorry for being so repetitive, but you gotta move your body or you gotta get someone else to move your body. Move your body. The stress is stored in your body. Your body is the key to getting it out. And if you don't want to do that, or you can't, or that's not available to you, progressive muscle tensing is a miracle. So the idea is to contract and release your muscles. You can do that manually. So if you know or sense or imagine or intend to, for example, Tense your right arm as hard as you can and just hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, and then release it. You can complete the stress cycle in that way. So you can just start with your scalp or your toes, whatever, and just clench, 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 clench. Hold, 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 and then relax them, and you're going to be completing the stress cycle. So stress is not bigger than you are. Not, not really. You are more powerful than your stress. And it is so important to complete your stress cycle. Stress is making us sick. Stress is making us cranky. Stress is ruining our relationships because if you are stressed out, are you the most patient person on the planet? Are you giving people the benefit of the doubt? Are you cheerful and easy to be around? You are not. Stress is making us eat. My most listened to podcast is the one called How to Stop Overeating. Okay, there's a lot to that, but I think one of it is, one piece of that is that we, a lot of us, especially since the pandemic, had no place to put all of this stress and food gives you pleasure, gives your body something to do, and it's one way of kind of completing the stress cycle. It doesn't work as well as these other things. But there's a natural reason why we would seek out comfort and food is comforting. So stress that is not managed is, is bad for you. Stress that is not managed is bad for you. So my invitation is to complete the stress cycle. Dance, shake, move, oscillate, do progressive tension, but your body is the key the stress is in your body. Your body is the key to release it. Yes, I believe in the power of the mind. Yes, I believe in the spirit. Yes, there are other techniques that help. But and also, let's use the tools available to us. 
because your body's the one having the stress more than your mind. Your mind does plenty. Don't get me wrong. You know this. But ultimately, all of that freezing, all of that fight that doesn't get completed, all of that, I couldn't run away, is locked into your nervous system. So there you go. Complete the stress cycle. Move your body every day. Yeah, yeah. That doesn't mean you have to go, you know, get on the Stairmaster every day. But it does mean, you know, just give yourself that gift. You, maybe even be, like, ridiculous. And you get out of the car, and before you make it all the way into the house, you have a little dance party in the garage. Do people park in garages? Most people don't. Most people I know, their garages are full of stuff. You get my point. I know I'm just hammering this home and now I'm repeating myself. <laughs> Complete the stress cycle. Your body, mind, and spirit will thank you. So right now, just to give a little sample of that, I'm going to invite you to do just a little tiny version of that. So with me right now, I want you to squeeze your shoulders towards your ears as hard as it will go. And squeeze it, squeeze, 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 put as much tension in your shoulders as you possibly can, we're squeezing, we're squeezing, we're squeezing, we're squeezing, oh my goodness, this is uncomfortable, I don't like it, it hurts, keep squeezing, 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 and drop it, just allow gravity to drop your shoulders as far away from your ears as it wants to go, ta-da, we took a step toward completing and releasing the stress cycle for today. All right, you gorgeous human you. I hope that answers some of the questions you asked. And I adore you. Thank you for listening. Do you adore you? You kind of should. Because you're amazing. You really are. You're darn right fabulous. And you, right here, right now, you are whole. You are perfect. You are complete. You are worthy and deserving of all the good things. Until next time. I am so honored that you share time with me. If you've listened this far, then something here was of value to you. Would you please be a friend of the podcast and share it with at least one other person? The podcast is available on most platforms, including YouTube, and I need your help to get the word out. So please like, subscribe, and share, and a five-star review on iTunes would be chef's kiss. Thank you so much. See you next time.